and welcome back to my channel. Before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't already. For today's video, I'll be showing you an alternate way of how you can use your rice water. The basic use of rice water is simply using it as a rinse, which still works and it's fine. However, since you have to leave it sitting on your hair anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour anyway, why not just make a deep conditioner out of it? So I'll be showing you my DIY recipe for a rice water deep conditioner. I will show you the basic recipe, but you can customize it to your liking if you want to make the mixture thicker, if you want to make it thinner. For today's video, I'll be making it a thinner consistency for my liking. So let's talk a little bit about the ingredients and the hair benefits that they have. So the first ingredient is an avocado, which the one I have is extremely overripe, <laughs> so you have to excuse it. Avocados are rich in vitamins B and E, fat, protein, and natural oils. It prevents hair loss, promotes hair growth, which is the vitamin B, conditions and moisturizes your hair, and strengthens and protects your hair, which is from the vitamin E. Next, we have rice water. Now, I have a couple videos on rice water and how I make my rice water now, but we're just going to keep this recipe very basic as far as the rice water goes. But I will link the links above if you would like to check out my previous rice water videos. Rice water contains inositol, which helps strengthen the elasticity of your hair, encourages hair growth, it contains vitamins B, C, and E, and decreases shedding. I also use one whole banana. Now what I did is I mashed up the banana and I strained it through a strainer. Bananas are great for the hair and scalp. It improves manageability and shine, prevents dandruff, moisturizes the scalp, softens the hair, and prevents breakage. We also have coconut milk. Coconut milk is packed with vitamins C, E, B1, B3, B5, and B6, as well as iron, selenium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Promotes hair growth, conditions your hair, and restores dry, damaged, and brittle hair. And the last ingredient, which is one of my favorite ingredients to use in just about any hair care DIY, is hibiscus. It prevents hair loss, prevents premature graying, promotes hair growth, adds shine and bounce, and reduces itching of the scalp. The hibiscus is optional, but I will be using it for this DIY. As I get into making the recipe, you'll notice that the strainer that I'm using for the avocado is also the same strainer I use to strain the banana. The strainer really comes in handy because it prevents the stringiness from the avocado and from the banana from getting all tangled and caught up in your hair. So now that I've shown you all of the ingredients and what all of the benefits are, we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. So without further ado, let's get started with this DIY.
bad as it normally does. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So all I did was just finish up with just twisting my hair in the front and I'm gonna finish twisting the back as well, but I'm just gonna let it air dry. So just as my stylers, just to give my curls just some added definition, I just went in with the uh, Rose Water Curl Refresher, and then from Natural Club, I just ran the Avocado Curl Custard through my hair just for some extra definition. So my hair is very soft, very lightweight. It just, it just feels really good and it feels very nourished and just hydrated and moisturized and just all of those things. It just feels really good. So I really love that DIY uh, that I did. I hope you guys give it a try, see how you like it. But I personally like it. And again, what works for me may not work for you, but it works really great on my hair texture, my hair porosity, and I just like it. It was a breeze to wash it out of my hair, no problems there. And I just followed up with a little light conditioner and then I went right into styling my hair. So that's pretty much the gist of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will also be doing a shampoo version of the rice water. So if you like to use your rice water in a shampoo form, I will be bringing that to you very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.